Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects in 52 weeks challenge. The project of the seventh week will be to display the day of the week with the time and date. All right, so the first step is creating your basic HTML structure, which I already did. Next, you will need to add a, con a div with the ID of container and inside this div you will need to create another div with the id output where the day of the week will be outputted which we'll just type in monday for a placeholder text and also we will add a another div with the id date which will display the date and time and here we will just place another placeholder just so we can see it in here so right now we have Monday it's not Monday it's Thursday and this is basically already the whole HTML file we only need to link the um, CSS file and also the JavaScript file we do this by typing in link rel stylesheet uh, and href just your name of your uh, CSS file, in my case it's style CSS, and your JavaScript file you will add at the bottom of your body tag and type in the name of your JS file as the source. And now we're finished with the HTML file. Next we will style the um, HTML file. First we will create a background color which will be 33232, three, two, which is kind of a darkish color. And also set the height to 100%. Next, we will need to style the container. We do this by typing hashtag and the ID name, which we gave our, our div which is container, as you can see, id equals container. We will just use the id and we will type in height 200 pixels with also, no, not also, 550 pixels. The background color will be a lighter one, f5e4c3. And I forgot the hashtag. Also, we will set the display to flex, set the margin to auto and zero, uh, zero and auto. Also, we will set the flex direction to column, so everything will be displayed underneath. And we will also center everything, but first I will show you how it looks like now. As you can see, we have a box and the two divs inside, just in the upper left corner. And we can change this by typing justify content and setting it to center. If we save it now, you can see we already centered it vertically. Now we need to um, center it horizontally, which we do by align items center. As you can see, it's now in the middle. And also, you need to center it, uh, align the content also to center. And it, that didn't cha change every, anything. So I, I think we can leave it out. I don't know. We will see. And also set a border of 5 pixels solid and 88B169. And now we have this. It looks absolutely amazing. All right, next we will need to style the output. We do this the same way we did it with the container, just access, the, um, just use the hashtag as an ID accessor, which we can um, do by typing the hashtag and typing the ID behind it. And now we need to add the font size. We will change it to 50 pixels so we can actually see it and align the text to center and just the font size changed and also change the date div 
also set the font size to 50 pixels and text align center. All right, this is what we have now. And now we will, um, and now we will add the functionality. So every time we open this page, it will display the day of the week, the date, and the time. So we will do this by accessing our main JS file or our JavaScript file and typing in. Um, I mean, first we need to create the variables and first the output variable document dot get element no get element by id and inside these quotes you will just type in your id output in my case also you will need to create a another variable for your date do this the same the same way as you did above and type in date you can even change um, the variables. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to do anything with the ID. Just make sure that the ID is right. So next we will create a new day. So a new date variable. Let D equal new date. What this does it, it creates a new date. For example, oh, we can console log D now. I don't know if it, uh, wait, there was a console right here, right? Um, view, uh, output. Does it work? No. All right, then we will just do it on the site. As you can, oh, it already worked. As you can see, we typed in console log D, and this is what happens. It will give you the day of the week, the month, the day, and also the year and the current time. And we will, yeah, I mean, we created the new date. All right, next we'll need to create a new day. Get day, and what this does is it gets the day. We can do the same same um, thing as above. We can just test it by typing in console log day, opening the console in here, and as you can see, it's four. Four equals to Thursday. And this is what we will later um, assign because day only works from zero to six, and zero is Sunday, and one Monday, Tuesday is two, three is Wednesday, and so on. It doesn't actually give out the name all right, next you will need to also create another variable and we will call this n date and we will set this variable to d local string and what this thing does is it shows the current um, date and the current time in your time zone all right, so we're now ready with all the variables. We only need to create a switch function, which um, takes the day as a parameter. And now you can just create cases. For example, if um, the day is zero, so case zero, if the day is zero, type in day equals Sunday. So when it's Sunday, and you open your HTML file um, and the variable will give out the day number and it would be zero in this um, example, it would just put out zero. You, you, you wouldn't see Monday, Tuesday or anything, you would just say zero. It would, it would just say zero. But if you um, assign Sunday to the day and to the day zero, you will get Sunday. And we will do this for every single case, which is seven. Case one, day equals Monday, break, case equals two, day Tuesday, break, case three, <coughs> day Wednesday, Wednesday, yes, break, case four, 
today is uh, Thursday. Case five day Friday. And oh, break! Don't forget the break. And the last case is case six, which will be Saturday. And as you can see, we already have Sunday, which is zero. I don't know why they did it like this. And what we do now is just um, output dot inner HTML equals day. So what this does it um, it chooses a day and adds the the day to our output. So our output was Monday. And for example, if we now refresh the page, we'll see um, Thursday. We can do this if I would have saved it. And you can see Thursday. Now we want to create, um, now we also want to see the date and the current time, which we can easily do by accessing this variable. And eh, no, not this, this variable, but um, 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 sorry, we will do the exact same thing as here. We will access our date variable uh, ID, which is just the placeholder. And we will add the inner HTML also, and we will add our end date variable, which get, gives us the local um, time and um, date. And this should be it. As you can see, it's Thursday, the 11th of uh, the 28th of September 2019, and it's currently 89, I mean 6 um, p.m. and 19 minutes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below. And if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article, visit my website learn-webdev.com. Link is in the description.